Alright folks, what's going on? It's your boy Rezzy. Welcome back to another Fantasy Draft Challenge. I believe there's only three more teams left. We have the Reds, Braves, and the Nationals. So expect those to come out. But today we're going to be doing the Cincinnati Reds. We have three teams left to try to win the World Series with it, uh, with the squad. Let's see what happens, man. So let's get straight to it. Alright, we get the 13th pick of the draft. and Let's see what is available to us. Wow, Mickey Mantle is absolutely insane. I've, I, I think we're going to take Mickey Mantle. Should we take Mickey Mantle? We're taking Mickey. Oh, we took him last episode, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, we did take him in a previous episode, a recent episode. So I don't want to be too repetitive here. So I'm going to try to mix it up for you. Craig Bijo isn't a bad player to get. Look at this card. Look at this player. I think Craig Bijo would not be a bad pick overall. But, uh... Yeah, let's go Craig Bijou. Let's go Bijou. Woo! I don't think they're taking Mike Trout. You guys know I take Mike Trout every episode. Let's take Mike Trout. All right. Let's do this. Let me see if the main man is still on the team. I believe he should be still available. He is not available. I was looking for Jose Fernandez, but he wasn't available. All right. It's time to pick up our middle infield. We got Craig Bijou. Who is going to accompany my main man, Craig Bijou, in the infield? A-Rod does not look like a bad player to have. Actually, we might go for A-Rod. Mattingly is all right. I think we're going to go A-Rod. Let's go with A-Rod here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, three picks in. It is time for us to select at least an outfielder. Let's make sure we lock down our outfield. Make sure they are in good condition. Nobody messes with the outfield. Um, Pedro Serrano is obviously the obvious. He's the most obvious pick out of everybody, honestly. If we're being real here, Serrano might be the guy that you do always want to select. But for this episode, uh, we're going to stay away from him. We're actually going to go ahead and get Giancarlo Stanton. We need that power. 99.99. We're going to need that power to come in clutch for us. So Stanton, let's do it. And all right, last pick, we're going to be selecting the pitcher. You guys know 99 Randy Johnson is an absolute phenom. So let's see if we get lucky with the auto draft now. We picked him really quick. Now let's see what the draft will give us. Bros, I am now noticing I look very pale in this lighting. It looks very bad, the fact that I look this pale. But we got the team draft. Let's go ahead and take out the roster. We got to no, know we got this. We got Madison Bumgarner. We got lucky with that. They gave us Andre Dawson, 28 years old. Not bad. Edgar Martinez, Beltran. Honestly, they gave us a good, well, we gave us a good lineup to work with. TJ Rivera, Edgar Martinez, Trout, Bijo, Rodriguez, Stanton, Beltran, Dawson, and Kevin Plawecki. That is a very good, very good lineup. And we got Randy Johnson, Bumgarner, Juan Guzman, Danny Salazar, and Chris Stratton. That's pretty good as well. And a decent bullpen. Nothing too bad. So, hey, this team looks very likely for us to win the World Series. So, let's see what we can do, folks. Simulate to the halfway point, and I'll see you guys then. Let's go. All right. So, we're to the halfway point, 59 and 37. Pretty good record to have. And now, let's go ahead and check up on the squad. Oh, that's not the squad. This is the squad right here. Come on. Edgar Martinez doing too good. Doing too good. Mike Trout. Oh, my God. 346, 29 and 89. Pretty good averages to have there. A-Rod is doing his thing over there. Stanton is... Uh, Stanton is not the guy to hit for average. You get me? He's not He's not that type. He's the type to have a lot of home runs, but won't hit for average. So, Belcher is starting to decrease. Off. He's 38 years old. You guys can see he's going down by 9s and 10s. So, that's pretty, pretty, pretty sad to see. And our bench is actually doing pretty good. Well, let's check out the rotation, folks. 11 and 5, 292 with Randy Johnson. We got Madison Bump. When did we get Madison Bump going there? I don't remember getting. Oh, we did have Madison Bump. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. Uh, 10 and 6, 295. Beautiful, beautiful. Overall, not besides Chris, obviously. Not a bad, uh, not a bad uh, overall. So we got Mike, Mark Melanson. We got him on a trade, I believe. Uh, I didn't do the trade. You guys don't, you guys know that I don't do trades. But decent bullpen. Yo, we got a good bullpen. Good, we have good overall everything. This could be the year that we do something, folks. So let's go ahead and make sure who's on the disabled list. No one's serious. Lucas Sims, Pastor Ronaldo. I hope they all get better, but uh, thank God that nobody and Mike Trout. Well, thank God that they're not, you know, that big importance to, to the team this early uh, right now. But anyways, Mike Trout is in first place in batting average, is hitting a 346. We drafted in. We drafted the number one guy. Now you guys know why I always draft Mike Trout. The guy can hit baseballs. 
Uh, let's check the home run category. We got home runs. Jay Buhner with 32. And uh, Mike Trout leads the league in RBI. So, and he's also fourth in home runs, Mike Trout. So, let's see what we can do, folks. Hopefully, we can we can keep this energy going to the playoffs and make sure that we, we, we can make the playoffs at least. And see if we can win the World Series, folks. Let's see what we can do. Let's get it. And all right, here we go, folks. So, the Reds ended up making it. It's, okay, this is kind of, oh. Okay, nah, never mind. So, we won 95 and 67. And we won our division. We're taking out. I thought that we did. I, I thought that we were a wild card team that we basically had to play the wild card game. But I read that wrong. We won our division. We're not playing. We play the winner of the, um, the wild card game. But let's go ahead and check out how the league did, how everything ended up playing out. Vigio is uh did pretty good 30 31 and 1 uh, 101 Rivera's a high Mike Chow 41 and 129 with the 324 average pretty good 42 home runs by Stanton and 120 um uh, Edgar Martinez held his own as well A-Rod did pretty good not gonna lie everybody did pretty good everybody did pretty good um I then had a pretty good season Carol's had a really good season for us as a bench 331 with six home runs and um, uh, 21 RBIs. And Ian Desmond as well did pretty good for us off the bench. So that's pretty good to see. And uh, let's go and check the rotation. Randy Johnson, 16 to 7 with the 282 ERA. Not too bad. 15 and 10 by the main man, uh, Bumgarner. And everybody else did pretty good. Not gonna lie to you. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and play. Oh, let's check the awards, obviously. Ronaldo Lopez still the DL. Uh, Mike Child led the league in RBI, slugging, OPS, and also in war. And Randy Johnson led the league in whip and war as well. But Ted Williams did win the battle. I believe he won. Oh, wait, what? That's pretty weird. All right, so let's see who won it. So Mike Child won Silver Slugger, uh, Hank, and he won the Hank Aaron Award. And Greg Biggio got the Gold Glove. But Aaron Judge does win the uh, MVP. That's kind of crazy. In a Martin's uniform. I mean, I can't be mad at that. But yeah, folks, let's go ahead and play this out. Let's see what happens. We play after we play the winner of we play the Cubs now. So we got Pedro Martinez versus Randy Johnson. That's a very, very legendary matchup. Let's see what happens here, folks. Let's see what happens here again. Last game. Let's go. We win it. And we're gonna be taking on the not the Mets in the uh in the NLCS, I believe. But yes, yeah, so let's see what happens here, folks. Win the game. Oh, let's go. We're gonna be taking out okay, win the World Series now. Who we're taking the World Series? We're playing the Red Sox. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Can we do it? Let's go! What? Let's go! We won the World Series! Let's go! But this is the second time we've ever won the World Series. And of course, it's, of course it's with the Cincinnati Reds, man. Of course it's with the Cincinnati Reds. The team that we won the franchise. No, the, the team that we won the World Series with on the franchise. Bro, this is incredible, man. The second ever team. Uh, the, the, this is the second ever time. That we ever won the World Series doing a draft like this and just simming everything. And the fact that we're only like on the last three episodes, three, two, two more teams left. That's actually crazy. But folks, we won the World Series, man. Please make sure to leave a like for that. I know you guys are excited about that. And uh, yeah, we got two more teams left. The season is technically over. It is now postseason time. I wanted to get this out before the season ended, but still, hey, it's not that bad, you know. Two teams left and the season's already over. That's not too bad. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to leave a like down below. Make sure to also drop a sub for the boy. And, as always, I will see you guys in the next one. It's been your boy Rezzy. And peace. When I pull up, you can't see any. Too many bitches just want to be my lady. Talking much, shut up and pay me. She wanna fuck, nah, nah, she can't